One of the issues with data compression is to be able to guarantee that when data is uncompressed, we can accurately recreate the original. One way to avoid this is to use a lossless compression method called Huffman coding. Huffman coding makes extensive use of data structures called binary trees. The first thing we need to learn to understand Huffman coding is trees. You'll have seen trees in nature. They all have roots, branches and leaves. If you want to climb a tree, you usually work out the best way of getting up it, which branches you need to follow. A tree in computing is a way of connecting items of data, usually so we can find our way around them. The way the items are connected will determine how you navigate around them. The simplest tree structure you will have come across will be saving files onto your computer. Each computer has a starting folder, your C drive. This is called your root folder or your root directory. You would then have folders underneath this, for example, music, photos and docs. Here the root folder is also called a parent folder and the folders beneath it are the child folders. Each folder is a data point in the tree and is called a node. Underneath docs, you might have two folders called school and home for your own data. At this point, the docs node becomes the parent for the new child nodes home and school. If you look at the tree, you cannot get directly from the school node to the music node. Starting at the school node, you must go up to the docs node, then you must go sideways to the music node and then down into the music node. This is how you navigate a tree. You need to follow the lines that connect each node. A binary tree is a special kind of tree. A binary tree is where every single parent node has a maximum of two child nodes. The tree we have been looking at is not a binary tree because the root node has three children. If we were to turn this into a binary tree, we would have to get rid of either music, photos or docs. This tree is now a binary tree. The root node has a maximum of two children and the docs node has a maximum of two children. Although music does not have children, it is still following the rules because it has no more than two children. Another technology we need to understand so we can understand Huffman coding is fixed length encoding and variable length encoding. Encoding is a process by which we turn letters and numbers into binary for storage within a computer or for transmission across a network. Let's say we wanted to turn the word know-it-all ninja into binary. Firstly, we could just use simple 7-bit ASCII codes. Because each character uses all 7 bits, this is known as fixed length encoding. The table shows that we would need 98 bits to store this in ASCII. This is because we have 14 characters and each character uses 7 bits to be stored. 7 times 14 equals 98. This information is uncompressed. One way of compressing this information would be to create a coding table where we assign each character our own binary code and then we use this instead. The number of bits used for each character would be different. This is called variable length encoding. Here we would use only the letters in the word. This is called a reduced character set. If we then use this character set to encode Know-It-All Ninja, we now get this. Notice that this only uses 33 bits of memory instead of 98. The word is now compressed. Variable length encoding has a big problem. You don't know when one letter stops and the next begins. For example, using the code table from earlier, imagine we had the following binary sequence. 10010. We could have these possible combinations of letters. This means that we might compress the letters OKNK, OK, but when we decompress the letters, we get IKN. This means that we are not getting out the same data that we put in. A way around this is to use a coding system that creates a set of bit patterns that are unique for each letter. This system is called the Huffman Coding System and is produced by creating Huffman trees. We will look at these in the next lesson. 
So, trees are collections of data items where you can navigate between items. Each item in a tree is called a node. The root node is the first node in the tree. Each node in a tree can be a parent or a child node. In a binary tree, each parent node can have up to a maximum of two child nodes. Encoding is a process of turning characters into binary. Fixed length encoding uses the same number of bits for each letter. Variable length encoding uses a different number of bits for each letter. With variable length encoding, you might get different characters out than you put in.